Okay, so this video is going to go over how to delete a record from a table in a database and uh, the way we're going to do it is by generating a PHP page that grabs all the records from that table, displays them, uh, you click on the one you want to, to delete um, and of course it then removes it from the table. Now the problem is of course that you don't want to just click on something and then delete straight away, you need to confirm that. So I've got just here a little sitemap of what we're going to do. We have the first page where we select the record to delete, then it progresses to the confirm page and that's going to then just reaffirm is this the record you want to delete. It'll show the full article and if not they can go back to select and reselect the correct one. If it is the right one then they'll click on yes and it will run the SQL query that deletes that record from the table. So that's the um, the plan for there. What we're now going to do is, if I jump to Dreamweaver, is create these three pages. We've got um, a page called Delete Select, Delete Confirm, and Delete Article. So what will happen is we'll progress from the select one, we'll confirm it, and then delete it. Now each of those pages, which you'll need to create, they're all PHP pages, has the following bit at the top, a little bit of PHP with an includes file referring to my database connection string. Now if you're not sure how to do that, um, I've got a couple of videos that you can check. I think video 6 covers connection strings and video 10 covers includes files. So they're worth a, a look. If you haven't done that before, maybe stop, go back, cover those two um, and then come back to this point. So anyway, I'm going to start with the delete select and uh, first of all I need to put in the SQL code. So uh, what I'll do is, I have typed this in already, I'm just going to paste that in and just go over exactly what this PHP does and what the query does. So um, initially I'm just going to come up with a little variable variable here called delete underscore SQL and that is the query that's going to be run on the database. So it's going to select those three bits of data, the news ID which is very important, the headline and the author from the news table again that's something that I've used in previous uh, tutorials and I'm going to order it by the news ID in descending order so the most recent one is uh, at the top. Then the second line or the next line there line 4 runs the query and fails or stops if there's any errors and finally and this is I guess the most important part I think is we take the results which is this delete query which we grabbed on line 4 and we put it into an associative array which means that we can then call out the information we need more easily and that array is called rsdelete. So um, the next step then is to go down to the body of the page and uh, run a little do while loop that will display all those records. So uh, again I've just grabbed that and I'll paste it in. So I've just started with a little heading select article to delete and again I've done these loops before. Um, I've covered them in videos 8 and 9 on how you can display multiple records using a do while loop and uh, and also how to create a dynamic link. But essentially what I've done is I've said, okay, do the following stuff while, which is down here in line 20, um, while there's still information being put into that record set. And what's actually happening is I'm creating a new paragraph, so in other words a new line for each item. Um, each item is going to be a link which goes off to this page called delete confirm. Um, and it's going to take the news ID of it, that particular record, the one that you click on. Um, and the stuff that you can click on is being echoed here. It's the headline, you can see it there. And again, that's coming out of my associative array. And by, and there's the author. Um, so basically, you can click on headline by author. And when you do, it will go off to the delete confirm page and it will take with it the news ID, or in other words, that unique ID variable of ID information of that article. Alright, so I'm just going to save that and now progress to the confirm page.